Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about dividing radicals with different indices. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we do have three examples class for you to really understand how to divide radicals with different indices. And we will be explaining this one step by step. Alright, so let's start with number one. We have the square root of two divided by the cube root of two. Once again, we cannot divide the radicals directly because the indices are different. So for the square root of 2 class, understood that the index there is 2 and this one is 3. So first thing to do is we need to convert this radical into rational exponent. So simply copy this 2, then understood that the exponent there is 1, understood that there's 1 here. 1 will be the numerator of the fractional exponent and this index 2 will be the denominator. So, square root of 2 is just the same with 2 raised to the power of 1 half. Alright, and then this cube root of 2, we can write this one as 2, copy 2. Then understood that there's 1 here for the exponent. So, 1 will be the numerator of the fractional exponent, and 3 will be the denominator. So, once again, plus I hope you remember class, converting radical into rational exponent. So if you want to learn more about converting radical into rational exponents, I will just put the link on the description down below. Now in this scenario class, we can apply the quotient rule in the loss of exponent class. Do you still remember? A raised to the power of n over A raised to the power of m. If they have the same base, you can just simply copy the base. Then you can subtract the exponent n minus m. Since they have the same base, that is 2, so we can copy 2, then we can subtract the exponent. That would be 1 half minus 1 third. Alright, so 1 half minus 1 third. So 1 half minus 1 third, we will have two solution class. So 1 half minus 1 third, first solution, we can find the LCD, then later on, we can have the butterfly method. We can use class the butterfly method. So first solution class, finding the LCD, 1 half minus 1 third. We cannot subtract the fractions directly because the denominators are not the same. Okay, so we need to find the LCD. What would be the least number class? The least common denominator that we can divide this 2 and 3 by that particular number. That's correct. That would be 6, right? Because we can divide 6 by 2, we can also divide 6 by 3. So 6 divided by 2, once again 6 divided by 2, and then you multiply it by 1. So 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, that is 3, minus 6 divided by 3, that is 2, times 1, that is 2. And then subtract 3 minus 2, that is 1, then simply copy 6. So therefore, 1 half minus 1 third, that would be 1 over 6. Once again, class, divide 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, that is 3. Copy minus sign, then 6 divided by 3, that is 2, times 1, that is 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1, simply copy the denominator 6. 1 over 6. Alright, so this is what we call finding the LCD. The second solution class, we can apply the butterfly method. Because most of the students class, they're using the butterfly method, especially in United States. Some of the students class, they are using the butterfly method. So using the butterfly methods, very easy class. Multiply the denominator, 2 times 3, so multiply this one. 2 times 3, that would be 6, so 6 will be your answer for the denominator. Then you cross multiply class. 1 times 3, or 3 times 1, that is 3. Then copy minus sign, then cross multiply, 2 times 1, or 1 times 2, that is 2. And then you subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1, then copy 6. That's it, class. Same answer. It depends on your class which do you prefer. You can have the solution, finding the LCD, or you can do the butterfly method. Alright, so this will be 2 raised to the power of 1 over 6. So this will be 2 raised to the power of 1 over 6. And then we convert our answer class into radical form. So 6 will be the index, so this will be the 6th root of, so 6 will be the index, 6th root of 2 raised to the power of 1. So 1 will be the exponent, or you can erase 1 class, that's okay. So the answer class, the 6th root of 2. Once again, 1 half minus 1 third, that would be 1 over 6, and we can write this one, the 6th root of 2 raised to the power of 1 
or the sixth root of 2. That's it, guys. That's the answer there for number 1. Easy, right? For number 1. Sixth root of 2. Alright, let's try number 2. What if, sir, they don't have the same index at the same time, they don't have the same radicands? Okay, 6 and this is 2. So, let's try that. Number, number 2, square root of 6 divided by the cube root of 2. Once again, we write this one into rational exponent. That would be 6, copy 6, understood the exponent there is 1. 1 will be the numerator of the fractional exponent. The index of square root, that would be 2. So, 6 raised to the power of 1 half. Alright, once again, understood that there's 1 here. And for the index, that would be 2. So, that would be 6 raised to the power of 1 over 2. And for this one, cube root of 2, copy 2. Then, understood that there's 1 here. 1 will be the numerator of the fractional exponent. And 3 will be the denominator. So, 2 raised to the power of 1 third. So, in this scenario class, we cannot apply the quotient rule of the loss of exponents because they don't have the same base. Alright, so the thing that we will do, class, is we need to find another fractions for 1 half and 1 third so that they will have the same denominator, same index. Alright, so to do that, let's find the LCD class. So, 1 half and then 1 third. And we need to find another fraction for 1 half and 1 third. So, what would be the least common denominator class for 2 and 3? That's correct. That would be 6 because we can divide 6 by 2. We can also divide 6 by 3. So, the LCD is 6. So, 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, that is 3. And 6 divided by 3, that is 2, times 1, that is 2. So, therefore, class, this 1 half is equivalent to 3 over 6. Once again, how did I get 3 over 6? There would be 6 divided by 2. So, 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, that is 3. And for this one, 6 divided by 3, that is 2, times 1, that is 2. So, once again, this 1 half, this 1 half class is just equivalent to 3 over 6. Why is that, sir? Okay, 3 over 6 is equal to 1 half. Why is that, sir? Because this 3 over 6, we can reduce this 1 by 3, right? We can divide 3 by 3. We can also divide 6 by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, 1 half is just equal to 3 over 6. So, therefore, we can write this one, this 1 half, we can write this one with 3 over 6. So, we can write this one as 6 raised to the power of 3 over 6. Alright, so I hope you get, you understand this one class. For this one, 1 half is equivalent to 3 over 6 because we can reduce 3 over 6 by 3. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Alright, and this 4 1 third, this 1 third is just equal to 2 over 6. Why is that, sir? Because 2 over 6 plus, we can reduce this 1 by 2. Divide this 1 by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, therefore, it's 1 third is just the same with 2 over 6. So, this will be 2 raised to the power of, once again, this 1 third is equivalent to 2 over 6. Now, you will be asking questions later on, sir, why do we need to do that? So that they will have the same index class, okay? They will have the same denominator. Alright, so next step is we need to write this one into radical form. So this one, we can write this one with, this one, 6 raised to the power of 3 over 6. We can write this one as this, okay, let me just write it here. 6 raised to the power of 3 over 6 over 2 raised to the power of 2 over 6. So this one, 6 raised to the power of 3 over 6, we can write this one as the 6th root of, okay, 6 will be the index, the 6, you put it inside the radical symbol, then this 3, okay, this 3 class will be the exponent. 6th root of 6 raised to the power of 3, and on the bottom part, that would be the 6th root of 2, okay, 2, put it inside the radical symbol, this, this 2, the, the numerator 2 will be the exponent. Alright, so that would be the 6th root of 6 raised to the power of 3 over the 6th root of 2 raised to the power of 2. So, we can divide the, rad the radicals because they have the same index. But let's us simplify this one first. 6 cubed. 6 cubed class. Let's simplify. So, this will be the 6th root of 
6 cubed, there would be 6 times 6 times 6. So, 6 times 6 times 6. So, 6 times 6. Once again, class, it's not 6 times 3. 6 cubed, it means 6 times 6 times 6. You multiply 6 by itself 3 times. So, 6 times 6, that is 36 times 6. So, 6 times 6, that is 36. 6 carry 3. Then, 6 times 3 is 18 plus 3. That would be 21. So, this will be 216. 6th root of 216 over 6th root of 2 times 2, that is 4. Alright, so we can apply now dividing radicals with the same indices because they have the same index. Alright, so let me erase this one. So, I hope you understand this one class. You pause the video. I'll be erasing the top part so that we can answer this one. So, we can apply this one class, dividing radicals with the same indices, the nth root of A over the nth root of B is equivalent to the nth root of A over B. If they have the same index, we can divide the radicands inside. So, this will be the 6th root of, okay, we can, have, we can divide the radicands inside. So, copy the index, 6th root of 216 divided by 4. Alright, and then 216 divided by 4, so 216 divided by 4, 21 divided by 4, that is 5, 5 times 4, that is 20, subtract, so 21 minus 20, that is 1, bring down 6, 16 divided by 4, that is 4, 4 times 4, that is 16, subtract, this will be 0. So, 54. This is the 6th root of 54. That's it, class. That's your answer for number 2. Alright, so quite complicated for number 2. But if you understand it one class, very easy for number 2. So, check, class, if we can simplify. You think of a number that when you multiply it 6 times, you will get 54. You multiply it by itself 6 times, you will get 54. There is none. So, this will be our final answer for number 2. The 6th root of 54. Alright, so that's it class for number 2. So, I hope you understand that one class. Once again, if you have some questions class with regards to this one, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me class in our Facebook channel. Same name with our YouTube channel. Alright, let's try the last one class. Number 3. We have the cube root of 6 over the 4th root of 6. Once again, we write this one into rational exponents. So, this will be 6 raised to the power of 1 will be the numerator of the fractional exponent and 3 will be the denominator. And for this one, we can write this one as 6 raised to the power of 1 over 4. Once again, there's 1 here for the exponent. 6 raised to the power of 1 will be the numerator and 4 will be the denominator. Alright, can we apply the loss of exponents? Yep, we can apply the loss of exponents, the quotient rule, because they have the same base. So, copy 6, then subtract the exponent. 1 third minus 1 fourth. Alright, so subtract the exponent. 1 third minus 1 fourth. So, once again, we can apply finding the LCD, and we can do the butterfly method. So, let's have the two solutions, class. So, for you to choose, class. So, 3 and 4. What would be the least common denominator for 3 and 4? That's correct. That would be 12. We can divide 12 by 3. We can also divide 12 by 4. So, 12 divided by 3, that is 4, times 1, that is 4. Copy minus sign. Then, 12. Once again, 12 divided by 3. Then, you multiply it by 1. So, 12 divided by 3, that is 4, times 1, that is 4. Copy minus sign. Then, 12 divided by 4, 12 divided by 4, that is 3, times 1, that is 3. And then you subtract, 4 minus 3 is 1, simply copy 12. Or you can do the butterfly method, 1 third minus 1 fourth. You multiply the denominator, 3 times 4, that is 12. Then you cross multiply, 1 times 4, that is 4. You copy minus sign, then... 3 times 1 or 1 times 3, that is 3. And then you subtract, 4 minus 3 is 1, simply copy 12. Same answer class. 
All right, so this will be 6 raised to the power of 1 over 12. 3, 4, 1 third minus 1 fourth, that's 1 over 12. All right, and our final answer will be, convert your answer into radical form. This 12 will be the index. All right, so that would be the 12 root of 6, copy 6. This numerator 1 will be the exponent. 12 root of 6 raised to the power of 1. Or you can erase 1 class. That's it, class. That's the answer class for number 3. So, that would be the 12 root of 6. So, that's it, class. Dividing radicals with different indices. So, I hope you learned something new today. Once again, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.